Welcome to Coding with Smartphone. I'm Dom, and this is Drawing on Canvas. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a simple bar chart. A bar chart is commonly known to be used for um, data analysis, which you probably know. And in this video, as I said, we're going to learn how to draw a simple bar chart. And later, if you feel to improve it, you can improve it. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and hit the, um, the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you will get notified. And now I'm also going to leave a link in the description section, um, a link that leads to the source code of this video. Okay. So uh, without talking too much, I'm going to just jump in here and start coding. So what I'm going to do first here is create um, a div, um, a div with an ID of container, and inside this the div I'm going to have um, the canvas, so canvas with an ID. Of canvas and a width of 300 pixel also a height of 300 pixel I'm just going to type this test here so just so in case um let's say your brother does not support the canvas this will show so now we are set and ready to go so um before i move i need to add some few elements as i'm going to add a text box input element uh, input element the type um, text now I don't need a value or what I need here is the ID and not the name the next thing I'm going to do here is Add a button. So a button with an ID BTN. So I'm just gonna add some. Uh, I'm gonna add a couple of line breaks here. CSS um, our HMO is ready and so I'm going to move to the, uh, the CSS so we can start the page before um, we go to the JavaScript section so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to link the CSS um, to to our HTML document with the link tag. Here I'm going to add the file name start of CSS. I wouldn't need a title. Okay, so now I have the have the CSS file link to the HTML documents. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create the file here. Now I have the file created. 
So first, now I'm, I'm going to start the the HTML document. I just need to set the box size in here to um to put the box. Now I'm going to start the body. I'm going to remove the margin and the patterning. So yeah, margin, uh, margin to zero, and the pattern to zero. And I'm going to make sure that content in the in the body does not overflow. So just I'm going to set this to hidden. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is also start the container. I'm going to give it a width of 100%, a height of 100 um, vertical height. I'm going to move to the canvas. The canvas, I'm just going to give it a border line. So, so just a border of one pixel. Now I'm going to start the, the text box. The width of 150 pixel and the height, the height of um, 40 pixel. And I'm going to do the same too. Uh, I'm going to do the same to the BTN. That's the button. And I'm going to give it a background. And I also take the outline, select it now. I'm going to make sure that content in the container has center align. I'm going to give it um, a margin on the top so now we have our code here the next thing I'm going to do here is um, move to the JavaScript so I'm just going to create the JavaScript file, app.js. Now I'm going to link the app.js to the HTML document. So I'll put my script tag. Um, I'll put my script tag inside the inside the head. Just going to change the position of this one. Now the script tag I'm going to put here.
app.js now i've linked my script file to the html document so i'm just going to move to the html of um, the javascript file and just start with the window download the window download is equal to a function so um, you will start drawing on the canvas inside the window download so what i will need to do now is get the canvas element from the html document so i'm going to use document that get learned by id so i'm just going to add the document here so I'm just going to copy this I'm going to paste this here box we got this now I'm getting the text box from the HTML document next thing I'm going to get is the BTN that's the button now I will need some other variables I need to get a contest object of the um, of the canvas canvas dot get contest to the I need a few variables as a gap variable I'm gonna set to zero um data to an empty string Also to an empty string. Now what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to set a fill star, the color that I will fill into the um, into whatever I draw on the canvas. So I'm going to set that to come flower blue. Next here is create a for loop. And before the for loop, let, let me finish with this. Okay, before the for loop, just so understand what I'm doing here before the for loop I have to get um I have to add an event listener to the button so btn dot add event listener so I'm just adding a clicking event that whenever I click on the button Whenever I click on the button, uh, I will draw the bar chart on the canvas. Now inside the function, that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to modify the gap. So I'm going to set to 10. And the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to clear the canvas, the whole canvas. So I'm just going to use the clear react 
submitted. this then I create the for loop I equal to zero and there are some other details that I need to get the value of the text box so it's going to be um, Value equal to text box dot value. Now data is equal to var dot split. So split by comma. I'm going to continue on the for loop here. So i is going to be less than data dot length. I'm going to increase i. So now what is left for me to do is draw the bar chart. So we're just going to use the fill rect. So the x part is going to be the gap, and y is going to be data i minus the height, and here is going to be 30, that's the width, and the height is going to be data i. The last thing I need to do is increase the gap. So gap plus equal to 35. So this is our JavaScript code. Now let's run this and see if there is no error. Um, okay, so there is an error. Both is not both is not defined. Okay. Oh, so yeah, I forgot to define the width and the height. The width will be cutting canvas the width. to be called to canvas dot height I hope that that is all and I'm going to run this again something here uh, okay I think I'm, I'm, I'm made a stick here it should be height Be height minus data i instead. Now 
now let's try this and see so there we have uh oh yeah there is now let's see so there we have our canvas drawn now let me run this code again so I'm gonna add I'm going to enter six values 50s 40 80 um, 80 100 then and 40 again so this is how you can create a simple bar chart and you are free to um, modify the code to an advanced stage and please like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and your comment also means a lot so please comment and uh, I will link the, uh, I will leave the link to this so uh, this pro, uh, videos code in the description section so you can grab the source code and modify it yourself this is all for this video i'm done and i'll see you in the next video bye